All right, so happy to see you here. Today we have a really interesting math question. You can easily see this question right here in the middle of the screen. We have 3 plus 3 divided by 3 and 3 plus 3 inside parentheses. So what is the correct answer? What do you think about it? Here we have three options. We have option A, option B and option C. So right now write your solution down into the comment section, write your option down into the comment section and we will check our answers here in, in a few minutes. So it will be really interesting because this is like a great test for everyone to, to remember our school knowledge to learn something new here our question here our our three options so we can easily test our school knowledge okay so let's look closely at our question what do we have right here we have all the time three okay we have right here addition we have division we have right here multiplication yeah but we don't have it exactly in that place but here is our multiplication here our addition here's our uh, here's our parentheses and uh, what makes all the difference in the world in the order we do this problem okay do we do addition first for example from here do we do division first or do we do maybe parentheses first because it makes all the difference in the world what is the order for this for this question and a lot of students might be saying hey mr for example let's uh, let's start for example from left to right let's start with addition for example we have 3 plus 3 equal to 6 and they go to the next steps we have uh, division by 3 from here and 3 plus 3 inside parentheses and they go from from left to right order they try to divide it but to be honest this is absolutely randomly method and it's not a good method in terms of math so we can't solve a question randomly we can't do uh, we can't do whatever we want because basically from here what do we have we have a yeah we have addition we have right here we have division yeah we have division we have right here multiplication but we don't have exactly this multiplication in this spot but we have it okay we have multiplication we have parentheses and something like that so we have four mathematical operations we have addition we have division multiplication and parentheses and in terms of math it's really great to know how can we order all of this stuff how can we find the correct order to perform these mathematical operators for example what i mean order i mean that we can say okay we can we can have these mathematical operators but in terms of math in terms of like math principles the first step for example is addition the second step a division third step multiplication fourth step parentheses so something like that but we need to know how can we perform it correctly we need to know what is the correct order to perform all these four in our case mathematical mathematical operators so right now let's look closely and let's learn something new about our order or order of operation let's look closely at this next step so here's our order of operation you can easily see this on the right side uh, this is called pemdas order of operation this is like a quick checklist so each of these letters stands for something for example let's start from left side because on the left side we have higher priority elements on the right side the lower priority elements so in our case letter p stands for parentheses these type of brackets these type of brackets sometimes this type of squiggly brackets it just depending on what country you live in we have grouping symbols so our parentheses is our grouping symbol so after parentheses we go to the next step the next step is exponents so we need to find after after of course evaluating expression inside parentheses we need to find where do we have for example 2 to the power 5 so we need to find all these powers like 3 to the power 10 we need to find all of these powers and we need to raise this before moving to the next step okay because the next step is multiplication and and division mixture okay i'm i'm talking it uh, in the same time because this is our one common group so multiplication division this is one one common group so m stands for multiplication d stands uh, stands for division and uh, don't be scared about it because a lot of students might be saying okay m comes first from left to right so it means that multiplication before division or for example uh, there's order like padmas so for example d before m so it means division first so uh, I, I don't want to talk like that here's a quick uh, quick thoughts about this step so multiplication and division in 90 98 percent of cases have the same priority okay so it means that when we have for example two times three divided by five so we don't need to multiply this two times three at first because we have like a mixture of multiplication and division and multiplication is before division no it's not worked like that we need to draw this line from left to right and right now we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right in our case the first sign from left to right because we have only two okay we have multiplication and division and in our case the first sign from left to right is this multiplication so we need to put in our head obviously we need to put this imaginary bracket so we need to perform it in a strict order from left 
to right. Here is our first sign from left to right. So we need to we need to perform it. Okay. And when we have a di completely different thing, when we have, for example, two uh, divided by three times five, something like that. Well, we can't do multiplication first because we have two signs, and in our case, the first sign from left to right is this division. So we need to multiply. We need to divide. Sorry, two divided by three at first with this imaginary imaginary bracket. So here is the key moment, and I wanted to draw that uh, A stands for addition, S stands for subtraction. And here is maybe the key rule. Uh, the key rule after learning this multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So whenever we have a mixture of multiplication, so uh, let's write it right here. So of a mixture of multiplication and division or addition and subtraction, we need to perform it in a strict order from left from left to right. And we don't care about the order, I mean, uh, order of these mathematical operators like division multiplication. It can be like division multiplication. It can be multiplication division. Doesn't matter. Whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division or addition and subtraction, we need to perform it in a strict order, in a strict order from left, from left to right. So after this quick research about this, about this uh, order of operation, I want to make a really quick assessment about our question. Here, here, here we have it. And right now let's solve it according to our order of operation. So how can we solve this type of question according to our order of operation? First of all, I recommend you whenever you have like a complicated expression, not like basic one, like three minus five, something like that. Right here we have a lot of mathematical operators. So let's write our PEMDAS checklist real quick on the left side. So let's write these letters. Uh, you don't need to spend a lot of time to write it, but it helps you a lot. In the same way, it helps you a lot. Okay, so first of all, we need to uh, perform it from the top to the bottom. Right here, we perform it from the left side to right side because we have the like, horizontal orientation. In our case, we have vertical orientation, so uh, the, the meaning is absolutely the same. So the first step is parentheses. So let's find where do we have parentheses. Let's look at it. Where do we have it? And basically, we have parentheses. Okay, we have parentheses. We can easily see this parenthesis right here. This is our first step to evaluate the expression inside inside parenthesis. So let's do this right now. Let's do this right right now. Let's do this. So as a result, what do we have? We have three of the same beginning, three plus three divided by three. And inside parenthesis, we have three plus three equal to equal to six. And this is our first step. Yeah, we completed. We complete our our parentheses part. After parentheses, let's go to the next step. The next step is is exponent. But before going to the exponent step, I want to mention one really important moment. I wanted to uh, to underline it because a lot of students like confused about this expression. So three, we don't have any sign, we have parentheses. And I recommend you, if you study, for example, at school, if you're like, you're like a simple man, to be honest, because you don't need uh, another order of operation, if you use like PEMDAS order of operation, and of course PEMDAS order of operation or any other, or like BODMAS, I use maybe 95% of, of people in the world, so you don't need this stuff, which is called implicit multiplication. I'm, I'm going to show you this stuff in a few minutes, what I mean implicit multiplication multiplication. But in 95% in of cases, if you're, for example, not like mm, if you don't study math engineering or computer science, in 95% of cases, you can actually get rid of these parentheses. Okay, in 95% of cases, if you're a simple man, if you're study uh, at school, you can actually get rid of these parentheses. Of course, it depending on what country you're in, and you need to ask your teacher, uh, can you do this or not. But in 95% of cases, you can do this because we can actually uh, get rid of these parentheses because we have only six in side parentheses. Okay, so as a result, we will have mm, 3 plus 3 divided by 3. And without parentheses, we have we have only 6. But to be honest, when you don't have any signs between this constant between these parentheses, this is our multiplication, multiplication sign. Okay, so this is our mm, really tricky move right now because a lot of students confused about it. A lot of students try to think about implicit multiplication, but in 95% of cases, as, as I said before, people use basic PEMDAS order of operations so they can actually get rid of these parentheses. Okay, right now let's go to the next step. The next step is exponent. Okay, let's uh, let's underline it. Let's find where do we have exponents, maybe three squares, three cubes, it's, it's like that. Yeah, we have, we need to find three squares, three cubes. So we need to find basic, basic powers right here. Let's scan where do we have it. To be honest, I don't see any of those. We can actually get rid of this, of this part. We don't have any exponents. Okay, so after next step, after uh, exponent part, we go to the next step. The next step is multiplication and division 
this is one common group so let me just underline it this is one one group so right right now we need to underline the places where do we have a division multiplication signs let's do this right now so addition we're not interested in this yeah we have division right here and we have multiplication as the next step so as a result we have a mixture of multiplication and division exactly in our case we have division multiplication mixture so as i told before whenever we have a mixture of division multiplication or multiplication division doesn't matter we need to perform we need to find what is the first sign from left to right let's scan where do we have it so the first sign from left to right is obviously this this addition so we need to divide three divided by three at first or for better understanding let me change my pen real quick and let's for example with this yellow color let's put imaginary brackets only in our head that we need to evaluate this expression at first before adding to this expression this three on the left side okay so as a result what do we have we have three plus and uh, what do we have next we have uh, 3 divided by 3 equal to 1 yeah we have 1 and we have times 6 and let's keep in mind that we have right here imaginary brackets it's not real one this is like brackets that we need to perform it we need to evaluate this expression at first because we have division multiplication mixture and in 100% of cases division multiplication is before addition and subtraction okay so as a result what do we have we have mm, from here we have 3 plus 1 times 6 equal to equal to 6. So as you can see, we complete this multiplication and division part. And in the end, we have right here addition. Yeah, we have it. We have it. We can easily complete it equal to equal to 9. And we don't have we don't have subtraction. We can easily cancel it. So as a result, let me just make a quick research, quick assessment about this about this question okay so i really hope you understand uh, this explanation i really hope you understand this part with pemdas so first of all let's scan our question in terms of parentheses yeah we have it so we add three plus three the next step we can actually get rid of this parentheses because we are talking about basic method basic order of operation we are talking about basic pemdas so we can actually get rid of this parentheses and when we don't have like the sign between uh, these elements we can easily guess that this is our multiplication sign we can easily write it the next thing we have division multiplication mixture division multiplication are tied for priority so we can easily perform it from from left to right and the last step multiplication and and addition so our correct answer is nine let's go back in the beginning let's see where do we have this option where do we have nine yeah we have it we have these we have this this nine and if you choose the correct answer as nine you can easily be proud of yourself that you solve this question absolutely absolutely correct but he, but here a few words about it because a lot of students a lot of students uh, learn about implicit multiplication they say okay we need to divide this three by the whole product on the right side because we have three divided and with this implicit multiplication it means that this multiplication right here so this place right here has the higher priority so it means that it looks like that we're gonna divide three divided by three and three plus three inside parentheses in terms of implicit multiplication this is a correct way uh, to write it but in our case we're talking about basic method we are not talking about implicit multiplication we are not talking about the thing which is called PEMDAS. maybe this is something new for you but there's another order not PEMDAS, but PEMDAS. and in this case in terms of implicit multiplication we're gonna divide these three by the whole product on the right side and here's my two alternate way how can we how can we evaluate this expression so when you need to mention that you're gonna to divide these three by the whole product on the right side so let me just underline this page and on let's leave it like that okay so when we're gonna uh, when we're gonna mention that we need to divide this three by the whole product on the right side you need to use parentheses or vertical orientation so the first way to underline it you need to uh, change this division by the vertical orientation this is a correct way okay but uh, in terms of in terms of pegem does when you want to mention that you're going to divide this three by the whole product on the right side you need to use vertical orientation or the second orientation we can use parentheses so just try to be unambiguous about what you're trying to present okay because there are uh, people a lot of uh, times are confused so we have three and we have three uh, divided by three something like that yeah Oh, no 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 we have something like that three divided by three and three plus three so there is like two internal uh, there are two and alternate way how could we underline that this expression need to be performed in terms of like pegem does okay so here's our pegem does two special cases pegem does 
that gym does so here's our first you need to un you need to mention that you divide by the whole product on the right side with parentheses so just put parentheses in this place and in this place and there's a correct way to perform it when you want to mention that you're going to divide this three by the whole product on the right side or use vertical orientation and then you don't need this pet gem task, just forget about it, because if you wanted to mention that you have implicit multiplication, you need to uh, have like a higher um, mathematical operations right here, higher order of operations, so implicit multiplication has the higher or order of operation. Uh, you need to use both orientation. The first one, vertical orientation right here, and the second one, you need to underline it with parentheses right here. Okay, so forget about it and use this alternate, alternate way, which is also which is also really great and then of course you will have you will have different answer maybe with this uh, this uh, uh, mathematical operator with these both special cases you will have maybe three maybe 12 i don't know exactly but in 98 percent in 99 percent of cases correct answer is is nine but here's two alternate way how can you perform it in terms of like pegem does if you want to mention that you divide these three by the whole product by this product on the on the right side because in terms of pegem does there's what i talk about we can easily use this both alternate way so when you choose correct answer a you need to review a little bit your basic mass and when you choose 12 you need to review a little bit a little bit your basic mass because it's it's really it's really great for you to learn a little bit about uh, about mass and you can easily test your uh, test my answer on a calculator right now you can easily you can easily do this you can easily plug in this question on your calculator but try to plug in the whole problem on the right side because there are a lot of students that uh, that literally type in the comment section correct answer is 3 12 or 9 and they don't care about the thing which is called like to, to type the whole problem uh, from left to right they for example sometimes happen that students type this 3 plus 3 in a calculator and calculator say okay i have right here 6 but calculator doesn't know what do you have further further you have division further you have uh, implicit multiplication maybe something like that yeah so try to plug in the whole problem on the right side and i think correct answer will be will be nine okay and this is like a quick quick hint that correct answer will be will be nine so once more here is my solution to this question according to pemdas order of operation here is my few notes about implicit multiplication about the thing which is called which is called pegem does this pegem does also takes place in computer engineering in programming sometimes people people need this implicit multiplication so here's two alternate way how can we rewrite it because the main rule just try to be unambiguous about what you're trying to present if you want to present division by the whole product on the right side you need to use vertical orientation the first tricky move and the second step we need to use parentheses okay which helps us a lot and then you're being ambiguous about what you're trying to present so here's my solution to this question here's my explanation to this question i really hope you understand it i really hope you learn something new you can also write your notes write your question down into the comment section it will be really interesting to read about it Thank you for your time, wish you all the best in your life, see you in the next videos and have a great day, take care of yourself.